So do you believe in Mandela effects? Yeah. So the, the Mandela effect that always tripped me out just like maybe probably about a year ago was uh, remember back in the early 2000s, like everybody's like, oh, sipping on hypnotic, hypnotic, you know? Right. And do you remember how that shit was spelled on the bottle? Uh, it was weird. The blue bottle, right? Yeah. It was spelled hip. <laughs> Not hip. <laughs> well, it actually was, right? Yeah. It actually was, but if you go and look at that now, yeah, it's spelled totally different. What does it spell now? It's like it's it's like a letter. Like I'm gonna look it up, man, because okay. it's crazy. So I always remember there being a Y. In hypnotic. Dude, there's no why? There's no why in hypnotic. That's crazy. I, I could at least swear there was a why in there. Right? Yeah. That's that's what that's one Mandela effect that tripped me out. And I was like, no, because I remember I'm not gonna lie, when I lived in LA, there was a I posed on a picture with a couple of my friends and I'm literally holding a bottle of hypnotic. Right. Mm-hmm. And there was a why. There was definitely a why in hypnotic, bro. Do you still have that picture? I do, but you if you zoom in, in the picture, you you could barely uh, yeah, you could tell I'm holding a bottle of hypnotic. Yeah, but, can't but see the spelling. you can't see the spelling. But I clearly remember so I did ask a bunch of people and they're like, No, there's a why in hypnotic. Yeah. There's no why. Is there a C? No, it's a Q. See, I wouldn't have known that either. I mean, it's in the... So so the way it's spelled now is H-P-N-O-T-I-Q. Okay, yeah. I mean, it's, it's got you tripped out. No, I mean, I've only drank it like once. It wasn't for me, but I do remember seeing it. Yeah, yeah so that, that definitely, that's one that definitely tripped me out, dude. So, and they say when um, when we feel the effects of the Mandela effect, right? Uh-huh. They say that we actually jump a timeline. And I don't remember the other day I was telling you, like, jumping timelines. And I don't know if anybody else has ever experienced this, but remember I was telling you that the other day I was at work, I did... I remember looking at the clock, it said 8.05, and then I went and did a bunch of stuff, and I came back, and it was 8.05. Yeah, that's, that's the trip. And my question is, I want to ask everybody out there, is like, has that ever happened to you? Does you do you feel like time has, time has stopped for like a few seconds, a minute, and is that considered, would you consider that like a timeline, timeline shift also? Conspiracy theories with Steve. So you know these these are just random thoughts that go through my head, and but you know it's stuff that I experienced, and it's just like, all right, am I tripping? You know, or is it that has this happened to anybody else? I think the timeline thing, like that's happened to me, where like you're in a rush to do something, and you're like, fuck, I was like two three hours, and it's only been like. A span of 15 minutes Right Yeah Yeah Do you ever feel like It it goes backwards Goes backwards Yeah I've never Like Like you're in 15 minutes But it's been 3 hours Oh yeah Especially when I'm asleep (laughs) Oh my god (laughs) Stupid (laughs) No but no it, It has happened to me Yeah You know where I just, you know, and then it's, there's times where it's just like, time just seems like it's going by super slow. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, man, me and my, my conspiracies and stuff, I know, but, but yeah, little green Indians. 